So today I decided to do something a little bit different. I've been contemplating on doing this because I've been getting lots of different questions and different comments about these unlockables and the game's been out. Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 has been out for only what three months or so. And um, one thing before I get started, I really hope that they bring more updates to this game. I'm not sure if they will. I'm not sure if they're going to do any sort of DLC. I just hope they didn't just bring it out that October, this past October 14th, and then just say, and then they brought out that little update to separate the Turbo Edition or the Turbo Pack, which contains Zuko, Eastman Raphael, Shredder, Ozai, and then the slime parts and more in the Kids' Choice Awards sort of paint that that's included in that little bundle. I got the Turbo Edition. I did everything in the game and have everything a lot as you can see. So I wanted to showcase this first so um, everybody can see what's in the game and just go one by one. So I'm gonna try to make this and cut this down as short as possible. And um, before I get started, I just wanna see more. I think they can add more playable racers. I think they can add new tracks. I'm not sure if they're going to. But it's still fun to play even after doing everything in the game. It's fun to play online. And a lot of people are trying to unlock these characters. And the thing is, I haven't seen anybody out there on this website come out with some kind of explanation. They don't really answer these questions when people are stuck. When people have questions of trying to unlock these set characters. To unlock some of their characters, their favorite characters that they're aiming for. Some people are not even really trying to get everything in the game. They're trying to get all the playable racers in the game to have and see who's available. All the drivers that are in. It's 42 characters and I'm going to talk about every last one of these things. And some of the things I'm going to already mention just from what I have saved here. So I have everything. If anybody has any sort of questions in the comments, if you're stuck, I'll be able to answer all those different questions in the comments uh, throughout today and anybody else that will end up checking this video out. But there's nobody else talking about this, so I thought it'd just be me. I take I I would take the 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 lead and be able to try to come out with something to really be able to explain uh, everything in the game. So here we go. We're gonna start with the racers, the playable characters, the playable drivers, and then. Um, one thing I'm going to really just say right now, anything that you don't, anything that y'all don't hear me say and mention is going to be stuff that you can get by buying from the garage in the game. Things that you that you don't hear me mention will already be available for purchase in the garage from getting the slime token. So let's go ahead and open up the garage so everybody can see the the characters we're going to start with the playable racers in the game so some of these characters i'll just say right now you can buy with the slime tokens that you can see right on the bottom left the slime tokens or the slime coins whichever you choose to call them you could be able to buy some of these characters from the slime tokens and i'm going to name some of them right now characters like jojo siwa it sucks that she doesn't have any voice lines so i don't know what's going on with that maybe that could be a new update for example in fixing some of these things some of these characters are exclusively unlocked behind things that you wouldn't even be able to figure out unless somebody told you how to unlock them which is why i'm doing this today so jojo siwa sandy for example and then camper patrick and spongebob lucy reptar stimpy cat dog gur cora michelangelo Odie, tall purple reptar and just and even more characters that you can get behind those coins now um some of these characters are already going to be unlocked i'm not even going to go through those so as soon as you boot up the game you buy this game the characters that you have unlocked will be those characters that you are those playable racers that you'll be able to have access to so we're talking about the drivers right now so now i already touched upon some of the characters that are a lot behind sign tokens like these two jojo and sandy and patrick right here you know and and then so even michelangelo is one of them as well but um now we're going to talk about the characters that you have to do specific things for these particular racers like Raphael. so we're going to start with Raphael right now and for Raphael, you have to play in the arena you cannot get Raphael any other way it doesn't matter how many matches you play online and whatever else that you do challenges or whatnot Raphael is exclusively locked 
behind arena the arena mode and you have to play the arena mode 72 times you don't have to not only that you have to win and that's something that's really important throughout this tutorial that i'm just going to be talking about throughout today it's not about just playing the matches you have to win it's all about winning in this game to unlock things you gotta win online you gotta win arena modes you gotta win in those ghost trials and defeat those ghosts and i'm gonna be getting into that soon it's all about winning 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 if you don't win in the arena mode you will never unlock Raphael. so you have to win 72 times it's so grindy it's so crazy how they made this so extra grindy and it just doesn't explain it how to unlock these characters and even if you're like a hardcore fan of Raphael, i'm a Raphael man i want to play as him you're not going to be able to get him unless you win 72 times in the arena so that's Raphael. now we're going to move on to the next ninja turtle donatello see i just talked about the ghost trials you need to beat 36 time trial dev ghosts they say developer ghosts you got to beat 36 time trial trial ghosts but for me it was a little bit different and that's something else that i want to mention in this tutorial some of these characters you might end up getting at a different number i did get Raphael around 72 but the thing with donatello i got him unlocked on one of my streams at 33 because you can easily beat your own you can beat your own ghost and it'll count so that's something else that's, that really took, that I took notice for because I beat two, two to three of my own ghosts. So maybe that was something that really accumulated and contributed to that. So that's Donatello. For Squidward, he's a boss. He's one of the bosses. So he's the very first boss that you end up making and challenging once you are basically challenge number eight. He's the one of um, one of six bosses that you have to beat in the challenge mode. So if you beat him in a race, defeat the boss, you get a new character. Squidward is just one of them. April is another boss character. April O'Neil, she's similar to Squidward. So just play the challenges. You'll eventually uh, see her pop up. So she'll be the second character that will pop up right off the bat. I think it was Jenny's second. But April is another one of the bosses that you take on in the challenges mode. Ablina is another challenge or boss challenge in the challenges mode. Same thing for XJ9, which is Jenny. It's cool to see her in this game. She's a boss. And then Gerald from Hey Arnold. He's another boss character in the challenges mode. And then, last but not least, Powder Toastman is a boss. Leave everything to me, just how he says. All part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> just the voice lines are great. So he's another challenge, or basically challenge number 48. He's the last boss that you take on in the challenges mode so once you beat these characters those certain characters that i just touched upon in the in the race in the challenges mode you'll be able to unlock them and now a little bit different as we wrap up the um, the rest of the playable drivers cindy vortex cindy vortex you have to win 15 slime scramble wins see what i'm saying you have to win if you're not winning in those slime scrambles offline of course you have to win 15 slime scrambles offline and if you don't win you're not going to be able to unlock cindy so the slime scramble the slime scrambles are basically the grand prix so you could play the same one over and over <clears throat> you could play the same one over and over and still be able to to unlock uh cindy as long as you as long as you win so you don't have it doesn't matter do you need three stars two stars or one star as long as you win and come in first place on the podium in that winner circle you'll be able to contribute your wins and now the one thing that's really crazy right now we're going to be talking about the online helga is exclusively locked behind the online and you have to win 18 times i'm not playing you have to win 18 times any mode it says any mode but for me for these unlock online unlockables that i'm going to be talking about throughout this video you have to win and I definitely recommend playing the free race because it's faster. When you play the online slime scramble, it takes too long. And then on top of that, it's, it's extra pressure not only trying to win, 
it's pressure having to win because you play against some of these players that's been playing the game for a while you'll never catch up to them you'll never really be able to get a chance to get them some kind of momentum to really catch them on the track to be able to get that first place anything less than first place when you play online you're not going to get helga you have to win so you definitely have to play free race or maybe find someone who's going to let you win to gift you wins so you can unlock that character. Out of all the racers in this game that we all talked about, we already talked about all the playable racers almost. Helga is the only character that only racer that you can unlock that's locked behind the online. And you wouldn't know that unless someone really told you that how to really get that character because it doesn't explain so she's like the biggest mystery character in the game. And a lot of people have been trying to unlock her and still are trying to unlock them. But you have to get those online wins. 18 wins for Helga. And then characters like Zuko that you guys got to see. Zuko and Eastman Raphael. They're exclusively locked. If you don't have the turbo pack, if you did not purchase the turbo pack, you will not be able to have Eastman Raphael or Zuko. So those are all the racers in the playable racers in the game and we'll just go through the list so everybody can see and then see how some of those characters i didn't mention those some of those characters are either already unlocked like spongebob for example and some of these other characters are going to be already unlocked and available <clears throat> the rest of them you have to buy from just the slime tokens that you earn from playing the game so those are all the racers we're going to move on to the carts and we're going to go to the cards. So we have all the cards in the game. These are all of them so everybody can see. And we're going to walk through. I'm going to skip all the, the cards that you need coins for. We're going to just, anything that requires coins, we're not going to talk about. So some of these cards, basically two of them are already going to be unlocked for you. So we're talking about the cards. So we're going to move on. We're going to go straight to the Fire Nation tank. The Fire Nation tank requires arena wins. 52 arena wins for the Fire Nation tank. The mobile TV set. If you guys want to get this, you have to win. You have to defeat eight time trial ghosts for the mobile TV set. And the washing machine, the, the washing machine aider. We're gonna bring this up. Oh, here it is right here. For this, the washing machine, you gotta you get from the challenge. It's challenge number twelve. The spaceship. The perfect ride for space cadets. Is from the challenges, challenge number 34. And then the Reptar Wagon, you get from challenge 46. And then the last cart that's locked behind some actual unlockable requirement, the nap time. Everybody Garfield says, it's nap time. The nap time cart is a lot. You have to get 26 slime scramble wins. So you got to win. 26 times in the slime scramble mode you don't need to be online so offline so those are all the cards and see i didn't mention some of these other cards like the channel 6 mobile for example you could buy that with the coins the garter card which is one of my favorites i'm glad that they put this in the fencing card just some of those cards like that are just going to be unlocked uh, the rest are already locked behind the slime tokens that you have to buy and pay for we're going to move on to the bikes I can't wait to just talk about a certain bite. It's insane. So it's time for the bites. We're gonna start talking about that. And just real quick, Johnny 13, Chew Chopper, the Apasago, and Frankie G's. Those are some of those bites. Some of these bites are already gonna be just locked behind the sign tokens that you have to pay for and purchase from just playing the game. So the turtle cycle for these unlockables, the turtle cycle you can get from the challenges, challenge number 21, the SJ scooter. Here it is. The SJ scooter is from challenge number 44. And then wait till y'all hear this. The Spittle Runner is unlocked only online. This is the last unlockable that you can get online. The Spittle Runner, I'm not even just exaggerating. Erk is finest vehicle. You're going to be grinding a lot of online wins for the Spittle Runner. You're going to need 138 wins. See how ridiculous that is? That's so grindy. And I just feel so fortunate to have this bike because I started playing it when there's a lot of people playing. You got to find people to play with to really try to rack up those wins. All those wins for a single bike for the Spittle Runner. 138 wins online. 
you can't get it anywhere else and then the other bike the last bike is the camp coral cycle you need 40 wins 40 wins for the slime scramble 40 slime scramble wins or basically the grand prix so those are the bikes we're going to move on to the wheels we're going to start talking about the wheels a lot of the wheels it's like this section for example some of them are a lot of these wheels are locked behind the on um, the coins so we're going to scroll through it some of them you're going to already have on lot and i'm going to go straight to the trash cans for the wheels so here's all the wheels in the game so the trash cans the trash cans are from the challenges i'm just going to say challenges from playing the challenges so as you play when you play and beat all the challenges you'll eventually have some of these unlocked so the trash cans challenge for star rollers from the Patrick star show i believe here they go the star rollers challenge 11 ultra lore loops ultra lore see i'm surprised they didn't put him in the game they got his he, they got his his paint in his 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 wheels ultra lore wheels from challenge 17 the pizza rollers those look delicious. <laughs> Beat Challenge 39. Their irkiness. From the challenges for Challenge 42. And then here's our here's our only online wheels. The water tri spinners. Whoops. It's all the way up. The water tri spinners are unlocked exclusively for the online. You have to win 58 times <laughs> for the water tri spinners for these particular wheels and you see how the different colors come out when you unlock these certain wheels you can get the colors from the shop so you get those specific wheels you're going to be able to have access to the different colors that you can purchase from the shop using your slime tokens so that's something else i want to bring to the table so those different colors that y'all see different versions of them same stats just a different color now the sewer grates sewer grate wheels here they go keep the turbo flowing sewer grates are behind slime scramble wins you need four only four slime scramble wins offline the glitter spinners here they go there's no such thing as too much glitter <laughs> glitter the glitter spinners are behind 20 slime scramble wins and then the slime rollers that y'all saw at the very bottom this is exclusively only only if you get the turbo edition or if you buy that turbo pack that's now sold separately so even if you have the standard version you can buy the turbo pack to be able to uh, have access to the slime rollers so those are all the wheels and see how i skipped some of them or quite a few wheels you could just buy all those wheels from the slime tokens and that you could purchase from the shop so we're going to move on to the exhaust pipes now because it's going to take too long just going through all those individual ones from the coins, coins, coins. You'll be able to see them when you come on to the, in, into the garage. So we're going to do the same thing for the pipe. Skip the ones that cost 25 to 35 coins. And then some of these, just as usual, you're going to already have some of them unlocked. And we're going to go straight to the unlockables now. The exhaust pipes, we're going to talk about the SJ9 loudspeakers. You need 32 arena mode wins. There you go. This is two different ones. So the loudspeakers, you need 32 arena wins for the speakers, the loudspeakers that we have here on the screen. Rocket propulsors. Rocket propulsors, here they go. The rocket propulsors, you have to beat four time trial goals. Four time trial goals for the rocket propulsors. The lumber pipes. Number price is from the challenges. Challenge number five, spotlight mufflers. So we can find these. Here they go. So there's just different colors. The spotlight mufflers, which is this one, the regular one. The spotlight mufflers are a lot from the challenges only. Challenge number 23. Camper batons. The camper batons are from challenge number 28. Bubbler, bubbler vents. Pop the bubble, 
popped up bubble anyway <laughs> i just wanted to do that bubbler vents been, the you gotta you gotta complete challenge 31 pop the bubble so challenge 31 for bubbler vents the fishy exhaust you can't wait to get to this one remember i was talking about the online lockables you can't get the fishy exhaust here's the first one that you get and then the colors you unlock from just the garage from buying from the coins the fishy exhaust just get this the fishy exhaust are only locked behind the online wins you have to win 118 times online for these exhaust pipes all that for that for just a, a set of pipes crazy huh at the turbo at the turbo pipes slime scramble wins just two once you get your second slime scramble win you're gonna get the ecto turbo uh, exhaust pipes saddle mobile exhaust Are they up here? Here they are. The Saddle Mobile exhaust are from 13 slime scramble wins offline. Basically the same thing with Ecto Turbo, which you need two. But Saddle, Saddle Mobile is 13 slime scramble wins. Salami. Some salami. Salami outlets. 20 slime scramble wins. And then last but not least, you got the slime. You got the slime pipes. The slime pipes that's locked behind the Turbo Edition. So that either you get the Turbo Pack, or if you already purchased the Turbo Edition for Nickelodeon Kart Racers Three, you're gonna have uh, access to the slime pipe, the slime pipes. So those are the exhaust pipes. Now it's time for the crew engineers. Or you know what? We'll just go through and just go on. Let's go to the uh, the paint. So we're gonna skip the paint that's from the uh, coins. So let's start talking about the paint. So this won't be as bad because it's not too many um, pieces of paint. It looks like a lot, but you know they're they're pricey when you get on the shop to buy these paint these paint jobs. So the paint, the bold and brash is already going to be a lot for example. But we're going to go straight to the camp coral, the camp coral sort of uh, unlockable. The camp coral unlockable is from the arena mode wins. So you have to win. 100 here it is here it is the camp coral paint the paint job is a lot behind the arena mode for 102 wins so you have to grind the arena mode for quite some time 100 wins for this particular paint that's going to take too long just for this and you have to win if you're not winning you're not going to be able to get this unlockable so the next one we're going to talk about uh, the make-believe paint. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Here it is. So the make-believe paint is going to be from challenge 15 the clock I'm trying to find it The clock paint yeah, Here it is. It's two two different ones The clock is behind the challenges the foot clan Shredder's favorite. <laughs> the Foot Clan is behind uh, Challenge 29. Unicorn Magic Paint. We got Challenge 37. The Invader Class. Better than the Food Service, John. <laughs> the The Invader Class Paint is behind. Is locked behind the Challenge. Challenge 41. Ultra Lore. Going back to the online. Ultra Lore is going to have, you can get this one from two online wins. And then this one is even more ridiculous for the Ghost Zone Mist. You cannot get this paint unless you have 98 wins online. And it says any more, but just like I said, I definitely recommend the free race when you want to try to unlock the Ghost Zone Mist because it's just going to take longer when you try to play four tracks. If you think you're getting four wins, but it's only going to count as one when you finish. So the Ghost Zone, the Ghost Zone Mist paint is from 98 wins. We're going to head to Mr. Tippy. Mr. Tippy is from this paint is from five slime scramble wins offline. So these are. The next ones I'm going to talk about, Mr. Tippy, five uh, five scramble scramble wins offline. The Star Family, Star Family is behind eleven scr slime scramble wins. Mermaid Man, the Mermaid Man paint looks pretty cool. 
40 slash couple wins and then you also can get the picket sign the first picket this one they're both you're going to get both the picket and the mermaid man's paint for 40 science combo wins so those are the offline ones and then the kids choice awards just like i mentioned earlier in the video the kids choice awards orange and then the other one orange and just a regular one you only can get these paint this is just the last and um, just the last thing that's included when you get the when you purchase the turbo edition or if you buy that turbo pack you can't get the kids choice awards paint from the orange and just the regular one or basically purple purple and green you can't get these two unless you have the turbo edition so that's the paint and now we're going to just jump into the chiefs so now we're into now we're going to start talking about the chiefs now and some of these characters are from the online so we're going to get to them so we're going to skip the ones that's from the coins and then some of them as you get on to the game and you first build up the game are already going to be unlocked as usual so we're just going to talk about only the ones that you have to do some specific things to really unlock them so angelica just some things to say about her it's crazy how she's a chief in this game but they just basically kick tommy pickles to the curve so he's not even in the game so Angelica is the chief, is a chief in this game, is no and no longer a racer like she was in Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. So for Angelica, you have to play the arena mode and you have to win 12 times for Angelica. And the same thing goes for uh Auchi. Is it Uchi Auchi? Auchi is gonna be you have to win 92 times just for this chief. Just for this one character, for this chief, if you want to play as him and have access to him as a chief, you have to play and grind the arena mode. So, I think I end up getting him at around 90, or just above, or just a little bit over 90, 91, 92, something like that. So, the arena mode wins for Auchi is 92 for him. And then for the challenges... You're going to be able to see these characters when you play certain challenges you see certain characters pop up from chiefs and crew members so i'm still going to be able to just share it anyway with their pictures they'll pop up when you highlight a certain challenge on the screen so sheen is just one of them um, that i'm going to be talking about so when you beat challenge two you can get a new chief like sheen so you can unlock him lisa is challenge number seven from the law house Challenge number seven is Lisa. Ed and Bev, challenge number 14. So this is all from the challenges for now. Gloria from Hey Arnold series. Gloria is from, Gloria's challenge number 20, Bobo. Definitely one of the best chiefs in the game. Cause you get that jellyfish protection too. Bobo is from challenge 27 and you'll be able to see her pop up on the screen. Tenzin from the avatar Tenzin from challenge number 35 Garter. he's glitched now so even if you get this character he's he's a little bit buggy see how it says attracts some nearby racers and hits him he's a little bit buggy now so his his ability is not going to really be able to work he's just going to be able to pull him in but he's not going to be able to attack so they definitely have to add in a patch hopefully at some point to fix him so Garter is from the challenges as well challenge number 45 Queen Vexus, it's nice to see her in this game as someone new. Challenge number 47. And then you have Sam for Danny Phantom. She's a lot exclusively from the online. So you have to win three times online to get Sam. And then for Grandma or Arnold's Grandma, she is also another exclusive online unlockable. You have to win 38 times to unlock this character. And then for the rest of the unlockables for the Chiefs, you have to play the slime scramble. So Heifer is one of them. So he got downgraded. He used to be a playable racer. So he's a Chief now, just like Angelica. So Heifer is three slime scramble wins. And then Phil and Lil is nine slime scramble wins. So these are offline. Same thing for Heifer. Three, like I said for him, three for Heifer offline. Phil and Lil from the Rugrats, nine scramble wins. Then you got Skalker for Danny Phantom, iconic villain. You need 30 science scramble wins. And then with Phoebe, she's going to be at 36. 
So that's the last unlockable for the Chiefs. She's going to be at 36 slime scramble wins. So both all the characters I just mentioned, just from recently, Heifer, Feeling Lil, Skulker, and Phoebe, you have to play the slime scramble. You have to play the slime scrambles uh, several times and basically win. So those are all the Chiefs. And now we're going to wrap up with the crew members in the game. It's a quite a few crew members so I'm gonna just try to scroll through so I'm not missing anything so just as usual some of these crew members you can buy with the coins and then some of them just again are gonna be already unlocked for you but we're gonna get started and just start with the ones and just start talking about the ones that you have to do different things so you'll be able to see which ones that you can unlock once you head into the garage so we're just gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna try to get everything out so Tucker is one of them that I'm just going to start with first. So Tucker from Danny Phantom. So he has the same ability. So Tucker is from one arena win. So when you play, when you get your first win in an arena, you're going to be able to get Tucker. When you get your second win, you'll be able to get in the arena mode. The Greasers from Caddog. The Greasers are from two online wins. And then the tallest, someone asked about him or asked about them the other day. The tallest from Invader Zone, you need 22 wins in the arena mode. Did I skip them? Yeah, there they are. Right next to Carl. So the tallest, I'm trying to make sure I don't lose my spot. The tallest is from 22, um, 22 arena mode wins. And then the last crew member that you can unlock from playing and grinding the arena mode, you have to win 97 win. You got to win 97 times for Judy Neutron. Pretty crazy. I didn't even know she was in this game. It was just a nice little surprise. The Chameleon Brothers, we're going to move on now. So you don't really have to play the arena mode now after that. Once you get Judy Neutron, is, Judy Neutron is the last crew member that you have to unlock from the arena mode. So once you pop, once she pops up, you'll be done with all the crew member unlockables for the arena mode. So that's 97 times. It's crazy. The Chameleon Brothers, you have to beat 20 ghosts in the time trial. Bolin. So these are going to be the challenges. I get these two mixed up, Bolin and Mako. So the next set of characters are from the challenges for the crew members. And you'll be able to see just again, you'll be able to see their pictures pop up when you play a challenge. You see a character picture when you complete that particular challenge and you'll be able to have that on your screen. So Bolin's from the first challenge. So you get just from the challenges mode. So we have several. Dr. Hutchinson. She's one of my favorites to use in the game for the hit protection. Dr. Hutchinson is from three uh, challenge number three. Spunky. For Rocco's World is from challenge number six. Arlene, challenge number nine. And he got Sokka from the Avatar. Challenge number 10. Really, really big man. Just trying to find him. Yeah, big man. Challenge number 13. Grumble. Challenge 19, Mrs. Puff is also in the challenges. See, all straight challenges. Challenge number challenge number 22, Nick, Nick Dean from uh, Jimmy Neutron. Challenge number 20, 25 that you have to win, Rancid Rabbit from Cat Dog. Challenge number 26, Grandpa Lou from the Rugrats. Challenge th number 30, Karen Plankton's computer wife. <laughs> nice little character. Challenge 33, uh, Garfield's teddy bear, Pookie, I think. Here it is. From challenge number 36, Abner from Hey Arnold. It's from challenge number 38, Dr. Stockman. <laughs> Dr. Stockman. He's from challenge 43 and now that basically includes all that includes all the uh, the other um, 
what are the challenges for the unlocks that you need. So now we're going to start talking about the online crew members that you can get. When you get your first win online, you can get Lenny from the Loud House. So one online win for Lenny. Professor Membrane is eight online wins. Professor Membrane is eight online wins. Lori is at 13. 13 online wins. You gotta win online. Normal is at 28. 28 online wins. Bebop and Rocksteady at 48. Online wins. The Snorch at 78 online wins. <laughs> and then that's basically all the online unlockable crew members from the 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 crew the crew members section. So now just to wrap up. We're going to head and start talking about the slime scrambles. You can get Libby from your first online Sonic Scramble win. Master Splinter is seven. Master Splinter is seven slime scramble wins. Harold McBride. It says 10 slime scramble wins. It says 10 slime scramble wins for Harold. But for me, when I got Harold unlocked, I had to complete the slow mode, so I think that's really off. For Harold, I'm just gonna change it, at least for my tutorial. I got Harold McBride unlocked when I completed the entire slow mode for the Grand Prix. When you play the slime scrambles, I got Harold from completing the slime mode. Well from the slow mode. So it says it says that uh, Harold McBride is 10 slime scramble wins, but I didn't get him that way. I got him from completing the slow mode. So I think that's that's really off. So at least Harold McBride, I'll just put slime, play, complete the slow mode, and you're gonna be able to get be able to have access to Harold from uh from the Loud House. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, 31 slime scramble wins. And then we're gonna close out with Ozai and Shredder to conclude this tutorial. Shredder and Fire Lord Ozai, they're exclusively only available if you purchase the turbo edition of the game if you don't have the turbo pack you're not going to be able to have access to if you don't purchase the turbo pack or the turbo edition you cannot have you're not going to have shredder or fire lord oizai in your crew members so they're going to be locked right behind there just so from the turbo edition so you gotta have the turbo edition if you want to have access to shredder and fire lord oizai i definitely recommend it because they're both great uh, crew members even though Shredder used to be a racer, he's good. And just like it says, he's good for both attack and defense. And even if you make physical contact next to a racer, he's they're gonna be able to get hit by their claws. Well, his claws that pop up. So Shredder and Ozai, I definitely recommend. But those are all the unlockables. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. We talked about the Chiefs. We got the Chiefs crew engineers, all the paint. The wheels, the exhaust pipes, the bikes, the carts, and all the playable racers. It's just the same thing. Where it says crew engineer and crew mechanics, things like that. But the most important thing before I close out, the, the one thing when you guys play this game, and if you're interested in purchasing it, the one, the key word is winning. You see how I just keep on saying win, win, win? Sly and Scramble wins. The, the arena mode, you have to win. Let's open up the challenges too on the screen real quick. You have to win online. You have to win in these different modes. You have to win against these ghost trials and beat them. And if you don't win, you're not going to get anything unlocked. You have to win in arena mode. You have to win those modes and be able to win. You have to slide. You have to win in these slime scrambles. Just like Harold McBride, for example, you have to win in this particular mode, in this particular sl this slime scramble speed to win. It's all about winning in this game for these unlockables, which is crazy. It adds pressure to the player, especially when you go online. See, I just talked about some of these bosses. You're going to see some of these characters. See, they pop up on the screen. And then that's the boss fight. See those characters? Sokka and Arlene. Really big man. You're going to see some of those characters that pop up. But some of those... Then when you play certain challenges, you're going to be on a lot certain things. So completing all the challenges will allow you to get some of these characters. And it's worth it. 
because it's going to give you a chance and give you some kind of advantage when you start playing. But online is so questionable because you got to find people to play with. You got to be able to win a certain amount of times and anything that's less than first place, you're not going to get any sort of rewards. Second place, anything under first place is not going to cut it. You got to get first place to be able to get certain things. It's all about winning for these unlockables, which is crazy. You can just play the game as long as you want, but if you're not winning, you're not going to be able to get any of these characters. You're going to get the coins to unlock certain things and buy them off the garage or out of the garage. But if you're not winning online, you're just not gonna be able to get to anything. So the online free race is the best method to really get these characters online. That's exclusively locked behind the online, like Helga, for example. You got to win and you got to try to find players. You're not gonna be able to find players in the, at this rate with no crossplay because no one's playing the game. I mean, it's some people are starting to play it. It's a little bit more active than it was uh, a little bit last year. Because people are not actively trying to play the game. But you want to be able to find people and hope that you can. And when you meet people online, you can add each other and try to grind those wins. It can't possibly particularly work with private match. Because you have a ready up system. But for just finding players to, to go against online, that's already that's not even half the battle. It's just parts of it. Because you find a player, you got to win against them and beat them. And then you got to hope that they stay in that lobby because if they leave, you got to hope that somebody else come up in there. And then at that skill level, it's just going to be that it's that pressure I talk about winning. And then you got to make sure you can have a chance in the race. And then on top of that, it has some problems with the online with the glitching, the glitches with placement. Sometimes they'll say you got first place, but somebody else that you um, that was just slightly behind you might end up getting gifted first place. It's a lot of stuff that goes on. So it's a little bit inconsistent with the unlockables, just all the ones, all the characters that I talked about and just things that I missed and left out. You can just purchase from the shop. There's different versions and colors of these different wheels. There's different versions and colors of the, the exhaust pipes. There's just different colors, but just the same stats. So once you get a certain exhaust pipe unlocked from playing the game, you'll be able to have access to the different variety of colors that you could purchase off the garage. So you won't have to do anything extra for that red pipe or that 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 uh, yellow as fishy exhaust pipe or something like that. You're going to be able to buy those other colors from the shop itself. But I hope this was helpful. I'm definitely going to have timestamps for everybody in the description. And if any other questions pop up in the comments, I'll be able to answer everything. I really hope that they make changes because I definitely think some of these unlockables are really insanely grindy. And then not even just having to win, but characters that are unlocked exclusively on behind online wins is just not fair to the player. It should be easier for them so they at least know how to unlock these characters.